guys welcome back to the channel today we have blue eddies ac2a this is a 300 watt portable power station with 204 watt hour 204.8 to be exact this thing even though it's small and light it weighs in right about 7.9 pounds so this is perfect for you guys who like uh hiking camping and if you have like a small boat fisherman something like this on your boat would be perfect especially you guys who likes to uh have extra lights, charge your phone, charge your laptops, whatever you need to charge. Especially for like photographers, if you charge your battery on the fly, something like this carrying around with you, it's not too heavy. You know, you can charge your, your batteries, your drones, everything you have to charge. This would be perfect. Check it out. Guys, let me go through this. Let me show you what it comes with. Let's take a look around, see exactly what it looks like. And this thing has all the features. UPS mode, pass through charging, you can charge off AC and solar at the same time. I'm going to demonstrate all that for you. We're going to check out the USB, the two grounded plugs. They didn't cut anything on this. I'll show you around. Let's see what it comes with. You get your AC charging cable. So you plug this into the wall and you can charge this. And that's why I was talking about UPS mode. I'll show you exactly what that is. You get your solar cable, XT60. MC4s, so you could plug in Blue Eddy's solar panel and charge this on the fly, on the go. What it doesn't have, it doesn't have the uh, car charger. You would think something this size, you could benefit from that because you could pull up to like 100 watts, sometimes 97 on the uh, car. So um, you can get that though, if you need it to charge this in your car. Actually, it'd be perfect for this model. So let's take a closer look at this unit. Real nice, like I say, it weighs in right around 7.9 pounds. So you could carry this around. You don't have to worry about it being heavy. All right, you can charge all your drones, your camera, photographers, people that like to charge their, their mics and camera batteries, laptops, something like this would work great for you. You can see a small little vent on this side. Now let's look at the front. Let me see exactly what this thing is. So once you get up front, you push that button once, hold it down, power up. So over here, we have our DC PV input. You pull this off, all protected covers right here, XT60 plug. So it goes from 12 volt to 28 volt, 200 watt max. Down here, you have a 12 volt, 10 amp output, like one of the old cigarette lighter style plugs. This is your DC switch right here. USB-C, 100 watt, USB-A, 5 volt, 2.4, USB-A, 5 volt, 2.4. So two A's, one C. And right here, like I said, you have 220 volt output, fully grounded, 300 watt max. On this side right here, AC input. So no brick, AC input actually is on this. Over here you have your grounded, so you actually can ground this thing. On the back side, they got the nice little handle so you can carry it. All your details right here. So anything you need to know, it will be right on the back. On the other side, you have the uh, another vent. So there you have it. Push button power button, AC button. All right, guys, so let's do some load tests. First thing I want to see is the output. Let's see if we can get our 300 watt max output from these plugs, AC. Then we'll do the DC and we'll go from there. All right, guys, so we have our Variac connected right here. Let's see if we can pull 300 watts more. Let's see exactly what we can pull from this thing. There you go, 85. Fan came on right around 100. Real quiet. 130. 200, the fan kicked up. And here we have 325. Let's go back down to 300. Okay, so right here we're pulling 300 watts. And 
is holding it perfectly. Holding 300 watts, no problem. So full output, let's go for overload. And this does have power lifting mode, so it can actually go over 300. Three sixty four, three sixty six, three seventy, and it's shut off. You get your alarm. So let's go ahead and turn that off. Reset our AC. Now, what I want to do is I want to do the same load test, but I want to do it with pass through. So I'm going to hook up the AC while I'm doing the load test and see what happens. And you can see right here, we're pulling right around. 262 watts charging and the reason it's charging like that guys right now I, I, this is the app we're in turbo mode if we went down to standard mode it would charge at right around 130 in standard in standard mode that will give you two hours so you can charge this in two hours if I went back to turbo mode, it'll charge this from zero to full in 1.4 hours. In silent mode, you'll get four hours charging. So we're gonna keep it in standard using the app. So we're in standard mode. While we're charging this, I'll turn on the AC and I'm gonna try pulling a load at the same time. And what you're going to see happening is that the AC input is going to kick up to support the load. So it's still charging, pass through charging. There we go, still pulling 100, 140. So the load's going up. AC is going up, pulling 300 watts right now, and we're getting 237. If I was to put this in turbo mode, that's where you'll get your 570 watts pass through. Let's try it in, in turbo mode. Come back over here, charging mode, turbo. See, that's where you get your 270 max input. Now we're going to go back and pull 300. There you have it, 570 input. So it will support pass through charging. So you have your 270 going to the battery and the 300 supporting the load. All right, so we back down. I want to see AC and solar charging at the same time. Come over here. I plug this into the DC input, and I'm gonna simulate solar. So currently I have 5.4. So I'm gonna turn this up. I want you to listen for the click right here. Heard that click. As soon as you hit 12 volts, DC solar started charging. Okay, so let's get it up to that 28 max. Get it to its 200 max. So there you have it again. It's in standard mode. It will go right around 132 and stop. So we come back over here on the app. We're going to turn this to turbo. And there you have it. Now you can get your 200 max. So in standard mode, you'll only get 130.
turbo mode, you can get up to 200 max. Man, I went over 200. Shut off. Oh, actually, I went over the set voltage. So this went 30. It shut off. I should have stayed lower than 28. Let's see if it comes back on on its own. I lowered my... Oh, there you go. So if you're charging on solar and your solar panels ac accidentally over volts, it will automatically shut off and reset itself. As long as you stay with, within that power. Yep, you cannot go over 28 volts. Right there. So you stay right around 200, it'll be okay. So 200 input. Now, let's plug in the AC. So you have solar coming in, AC coming in. Let's see our max charging. There you have it, 270. So if you combine AC and solar, you'll get that 270 charging on turbo mode. Everything checks out. Turned all the solar off. And now the AC went to 270. All right, guys. So everything checked out. We proved that it does have 200 max on solar, 270 on AC. It will charge AC and solar at the same time. Um, it does have pass-through charging. It does have UPS mode. All right, guys, so we tested our AC. We tested our solar input. Let's see what the DC can output. This is 12 volt, 10 amps output. I'm going to use this small DC tester to see what we can get from it. Turn on your DC load. By the way, you see, jumped up to 30. That's four amps, five amps. Eight amps, nine amps, 9.4, 10 amps. So we're pulling right about 135 watt output. And it holds it perfectly. Let's go over that. 10.11. Amps, 11.6, shut off. So you get over your 10 amps on your DC output, which works perfectly fine. Once you overload, you just come back here, hit this, turn it off, you reset your load. Real easy. Okay, guys, so now we're going to do a little real world testing. I have a small cooler right here. This is an AC and DC cooler. I'm going to plug it into this and kind of show you exactly how you would use this thing in the real world. So we come over here, plug our refrigerator in. So like I said, this would work perfect for someone in the uh, photographer, fishing, camping, hiking, that type of thing, because this is 7.9 pounds, easily carried with you. You don't have to worry about it being too heavy or weighing you down. Let's turn this fridge on. Okay, your refrigerator just came on. See, it's only pulling right around 45 watts. I have some small batteries over here. I plug them into my AC. Recharge my batteries. My little power bank. Plug my power bank in so I can recharge that. There you go.
these are my um my battery for my camera so they're in right here i just plug that into usb recharge my camera batteries I have one of the small little glue guns. So I'm just gonna plug this into the next AC. There we go. Turn that on. I'm doing all this. I have a small little fan, USB fan. Plug this thing in right here. I'm gonna clip it on the top. Get some air going. For a small portable power station, look look at all the things you can do. We're still at 200 watts. I have my refrigerator running. So I can, and remember this thing goes on and off. It's not gonna run all the time. Once it gets the temp, it will shut off. Charging a battery, little power pack, my camera batteries refrigerator let's say you're doing some project somewhere a little hot glue so this thing would work out perfectly fine if you're doing some kind of remote shooting if you're outside shooting you can carry this thing in a backpack it's not going to weigh you down it only weighs 7.9 pounds so you're perfectly fine and we have every port working if you had a 200 watt solar panel you could come over here plug in solar panel Put your solar panel out in the sun, and this thing is perfectly fine. The cool thing about this, it's fully app controllable. You can control everything from the app. All right, you can see your voltage on the PV coming in, the grid, DC side, AC side. You can turn on DC, you can turn on AC, and come over here. You can actually share this device with someone. You could do a home screen, home page display. This is your charging modes. So you click right here. You can go to standard, silent, or turbo. Eco mode, that's gonna prevent your battery from dying. So if you leave this on and there's not a significant draw, it will actually turn itself off. You could do your auto sleep mode, 30, one minute i have mine set to five minutes or you can go never if you never want the display to turn off upgrades advanced setting everything right here everything you can do on the app you can do on this if you come here and you push dc and ac at the same time see that p01 you come over here you could toggle through your settings. I have mine set to 60 hertz. Once you set, get all your parameters set, you come over here and you will save it. You hold it down again and it will go back. If you don't do that, all the settings you went through, it's just going to go back to uh, default settings. Awesome portable power station. Guys, I will have the link in the description for this Blue Eddy AC2A. So check it out. For those of you guys, like I tell you, if you're like a fisherman, you want to bring some power with you, charge your laptop small refrigerator on your boat or if you're camping little fan in your tent everything you need to do i will have the link down in the description for this check it out if you want to know the current pricing hit that link it will take you to the pricing quick video on the blue eddy ac2a check it out guys thanks for watching my videos and have a great day bye